Hello everyone. This is our set of the day. Here it says there are five friends: Rahul, Priya, Raman, Sachin, Anjali, and they bought chocolate of different brands among the six available: Dairy Milk, Five Star, Roshers, Amul, Bonville, Temptation, and certain conditions are given. Like Anjali bought neither of Temptation or Dairy Milk, Priya bought neither of Amul nor Roshers, and <clears throat> further we are given conditions. And based on these conditions, we have to find which friend has bought. Uh, which brand of chocolate now since there are five friends and uh, the given uh, brands are six right and everyone bought only one chocolate that simply means that there will be one brand which will not be uh, bought by <coughs> any of the uh, five friends right so in this question basically in this set uh, we need to uh, <coughs> make a table in which uh, we need to fill the information regarding the name of the friend and uh, the chocolate bought by that friend and the conditions are with us so let us try to find uh, make the table <coughs> now the first condition says here let's write down the condition side by side the first condition says anjali bought neither temptation nor dairy milk so <coughs> anjali did not buy temptation or dairy milk priya bought neither amul nor roshers so priya <coughs> did not buy amul or roshers right <coughs> further if rahul bought five star then raman bought bonville it means <coughs> if now word if is there if rahul buys if rahul has five star then raman will buy bonville so it simply means that if raman is not buying bonville rahul cannot buy five star <clears throat> if raman is not buying bonville rahul cannot buy five star because if rahul is buying the five star then raman has to buy bonville next it says raman's chocolate was costlier than sachin chocolate so raman's chocolate was costlier than <clears throat> sachin chocolate right which was cheaper than rahul's chocolate that means <coughs> rahul's chocolate was also costlier than sachin's chocolate and in this table above let us say this is the uh, 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 the cost wise this this one is the costlier costliest in fact right and this one is the second costliest this one is the let's say third costliest this one is the fourth costliest or this one is the cheaper cheapest right so let's say this is the order of chocolates in this table <coughs> the most costliest should be in the first place second costliest in the th uh, second place the third one the third the second cheapest in the fourth position and the cheapest in the fifth position <coughs> next it says either sachin chocolate was temptation or priya's chocolate was bonville so that means <coughs> either now either means one among these two conditions will be satisfied that either sachin bought uh, temptation or <coughs> priya bought bonville or priya bought bonville right so either of these two conditions will be satisfied next it says anjali's chocolate was costly than priya's chocolate so anjali's chocolate anjali's chocolate is costlier then priya's chocolate and <clears throat> priya's chocolate was costlier than only dairy milk now this only word is important here priya's chocolate was costlier than only dairy milk which was bought by one of the five friends so that means dairy milk is not the not the chocolate which was not bought by any of the friends so <clears throat> dairy milk was bought by one friend and priya's chocolate was costlier than only dairy milk that means there is only one chocolate bought by priya which was costlier than dairy milk so that means dairy milk is a chocolate which is the cheapest one dairy milk is the chocolate that was cheapest one because priya's chocolate whatever the brand he has bought that brand was costlier than only dairy milk <clears throat> so that means there was only one brand dairy milk which was cheaper than the brand bought by priya 
So that means dairy milk is the cheapest among all the six brands. And Priya's chocolate was costlier than only dairy milk. That means Priya bought the fourth costlier or the second cheapest. Right. <clears throat> next, next. Uh, again, uh, read this line. Anjali's chocolate was costlier than Priya's chocolate. Uh, now, uh, leave this line. Uh, it says Anjali's chocolate was costlier than Priya's chocolate, but cheaper than Amul chocolate. Anjali's costlier. Chocolate was costly than Pierre chocolate, which was costlier than dairy milk, but cheaper than Amul. Right? Anjali's chocolate was costlier than Pierre's chocolate. Pierre's chocolate was costlier than dairy milk, but cheaper than Amul. That means Amul chocolate was Amul brand was costlier than the Pierre's brand. <clears throat> the cheapest was not temptation. Obviously, cheapest one is the dairy milk. And the costliest was five star. So five star was the costliest. <clears throat> but we do not know whether five star was bought by any of the friends or not. But one thing is clear that five star was the costliest one. Now, only if Raman's chocolate was Rocher's, then Rahul's chocolate was not dairy milk. That means if Rahul's chocolate is not dairy milk, then Raman's chocolate is Rocher. If Rahul's chocolate is not dairy milk, then Raman's chocolate is Rocher's. And Amul's chocolate was costlier than Rocher's and Temptation, and neither of them were bought by Rahul. So Amul is also Amul brand is uh, costlier than Rocher's and Temptation, and neither of these two chocolates were bought by Rahul. <clears throat> now, one thing is clear now, since we have to arrange five friends uh, in this column, and uh, we know that. Raman's chocolate is costlier than Sachin chocolate. Rahul's cost chocolate is uh, costlier than Sachin chocolate. That means there are two people whose chocolates are costlier than the Sachin's chocolate. Further, Anjali's chocolate is costlier than Priya's chocolate. Since Anjali's chocolate is costlier than Priya's chocolate, I can say that Anjali will be. Let me <coughs> raise this part. It means that Anjali's chocolate will be. Among the top three, Anjali will stand somewhere in top three, right? Since Anjali's chocolate is costlier than Pierre's chocolate. Further, Raman and Rahul, their chocolates are costlier than Sachin chocolate. So I cannot put Sachin here. Let's say I am writing Sachin here, somewhere here. Then in that case, in the in these two places, one will be occupied by Anjali definitely, either first or the second, and the second place will go to either. Raman or Rahul. Let's say Raman is here. Now, in this case, what will happen? Rahul will be here. So Rahul's chocolate is obviously uh, cheaper than the Sachin chocolate. Remember that I have taken this one as the uh, costliest one, this as the second costliest, this one as the third costliest, second cheaper, and cheapest. <coughs> right. So <coughs> that means Rahul cannot be in the uh, last row. He cannot buy the Cheapest chocolate since his chocolate at least is uh, costlier than the uh, Sachin chocolate, right? So that means Sachin cannot be uh, placed in the top three places. Raman cannot be uh, Sachin cannot be placed in the top three places. So it means Sachin is the one who has bought the cheapest. So Sachin bought the cheapest chocolate, dairy milk, right? Now it says either Sachin bought Temptation or Priya. Bought Bonville, right? There was a condition. <clears throat> there was a condition that either Sachin uh, chocolate was Temptation or Priya's chocolate was Bonville. Now, uh, since <clears throat> Sachin's chocolate is not Temptation, right? Either of these two statements will be true. Either Sachin's chocolate is Temptation, that is not the case. That means Priya's chocolate has to be Bonville. So Priya bought Bonville. Next, it says, if Rahul has five star, only then Raman will buy Bonville. But if Raman does not buy Bonville, that means Rahul will not buy five star. So one thing is clear that Rahul did not buy five star. Why? Rahul did not buy five star because if Rahul has bought the five star, then Raman needs to buy Bonville. But that is not the case. That means Rahul did not buy five star. Right. Next, it says there was one more condition. Only if 
Raman's chocolate was washers, then Rahul's was not very much. That means if Rahul, it simply means that if Rahul did not buy dairy milk, then Raman must have bought washers, right? देखो, अगर Raman की chocolate washers है, तो तो ही Rahul की dairy milk नहीं होगी. अगर Raman की chocolate washers है, if Raman has washers, only then Rahul will not buy dairy milk. Now since Rahul is not buying dairy milk here, dairy milk is bought by Sachin. That means Raman must have bought washers. So it means Raman bought washers. Raman has washers with him. So <clears throat> out of the six chocolates, I have uh, the name of three with me: Bonville, Dairy Milk, and Rochers. Right. So these are the three, three chocolates. Now let's see what are the possible cases for Anjali and Rahul now. So Rahul, which chocolates can Rahul buy? Out uh, uh, Rochers, Bonville, and Dairy Milk are gone. The left four brands are five star. Now five star cannot be bought by Rahul. So Rahul cannot buy five star. So <clears throat> Rahul is left with only Amul or Temptation, right? So these are the two bands left for Rahul, right? Five star he cannot buy. Bonville, Dairy Milk, or Roches are already gone. So left over is Amul or Temptation. But it's written that in the last line that Amul's chocolate was costlier than Roches and Temptation. Neither of which were bought by Rahul. So Rahul did not buy Temptation. Rahul did not buy Temptation. That means Rahul must have bought Amul. Rahul must have bought Amul. Now for Anjali, we have left with only two chocolates. Anjali will buy either Five Star or Temptation. Only these two chocolates are left for Anjali. Either she will buy Five Star or a Temptation. But in the first line, it was written that Anjali bought neither Temptation nor Dairy Milk. So Anjali did not buy Temptation. So if Anjali is not buying the Temptation, Anjali must have bought Five Star. So that means <clears throat> Five Star was the. Uh, it was also written that Five Star was the costliest chocolate. <clears throat> uh, the cheapest was not Temptation, and the costliest was Five Star, right? So that means Five Star is the Costliest, and this chocolate was bought by Anjali. And the next two chocolates are Amul and Roshers. Amul and Roshers. Roshers was was bought by Raman, and Amul was bought by Rahul. Now, <clears throat> since Amul's chocolate is costlier than Roshers, that means Amul has to be in the second place, and Rosher must be in the third place. And Amul was bought by Rahul, and uh, Roshas was bought by Raman. So this is the complete arrangement for this set. Now let us look at the questions. The first one says, "Who among the following bought the cheapest one?" The cheapest one was bought by Sachin. Option number two or four. Option four is the right answer. Next, it says, "Which of the following statements must be true?" Rahul bought dairy milk. This is wrong. Raman's chocolate was costlier than Anjali's chocolate. That is again wrong. Sachin bought Amul. That is wrong. And fourth one is right. That Roshan's chocolate was the third costliest among the five chocolates bought by the five friends. Right. This is third actually. So Rochers chocolate was third costliest among the five chocolates bought by the five friends. Obviously, these are the five chocolates bought by the five friends, and Rochers is the third costliest. Which chocolate was not bought by any of the friends? So we can see that Temptation is the one which was not bought by any of the friends. So this was all about this set. Thank you to all of you.